what's up guys of course welcome to another video from me this scavenger and well today we're actually gonna do on top five list uh, it's been some times that they won and uh, this is something that um, I had this on my mind but I never really did it and once actually Glade hit the frame here of course with uh, it hitting the NU I decided to actually bring up this list again and uh, I'm not gonna bring Glade into this list because well I said it on uh, Twitter mostly that I'm pretty sure it's gonna get banned anyway and uh, it's gonna make this video much much more older very fast because of that Glade is too powerful in you yes I don't find it as a big as a threat I do see it um, it has a lot of uh, similar things to Sork so I can see why it falls so low but with a tier that is based on normal typings or a lot of them and ice types isn't you know, prevailing great um, the lady is gonna slaughter that tier. Um, it's that simple, and um, I think um, I think it had to leave. Not because of its power, but because of the Pokemon it is. I can't deal with it. And uh, there's where this list comes in. This is Pokemon's that have um, either they are too weak for its tier or they are too strong for its tier. And it's um, I really want to see them in another tier just to see how they do. Uh, they're either missed or uh, they just they don't have what it takes to be in the tier that it in is so um, yeah or you know as always you know the small disclaimer is always uh, this is my list it's a very personal one and if you don't agree with me uh, don't rage too much and if you have a different opinion make sure to write them down below because I do read them and I do care for them so with all this in mind guys let's go Hitting off at number 5, it's gonna be Mega Fidget. And um, it's for a very, re you know, for a very simple reason. I want this guy to go from UU to back to RU. And it is because that I really, really don't believe that Mega Fidget can do some nice work in UU. While it does have its perks, don't get me wrong, it does have perks and very, very nice speed and special attack to move with that. It still isn't, you know, on par with the Pokemon that are in there. And being completely walled by rock types is um, it's a big deal. It really is, and uh, it has a hard time really finding its footing. Uh, I've seen some good strategies with it, and I've seen a lot of people building it more bulkier for its tier, and Jim, um, it works. But I just I just don't believe that Mega Pidgeot can hold its own in UU, and it is falling right now, and. Uh, I hope that this guy actually hit the, of course, the RU very soon. So this is my number five spot. Coming in at number four is gonna be Tarantrum, and I want to see this guy going from RU to UU actually. Um, Tarantrum is one of those Pokémon that um, it never really, you know, got the power it needed to do well in its tier. Um, what I mean by that is a Tarantrum. By, um, by design what well, felt much better than it really became and as a direct result of that hasn't really outshined itself but once now it uh, rock had got introduced the transfer has got much more threatening and I've seen a lot of rock polish that pretty much actually um how do you put it as uh, a right period set on it it does quake head smash dragon claw and it does well it does really well and in, in a tier where there are no fairies or only got some was it, aroma fees on that ramble at best. Um, this thing is doing well, very well, disgustingly well. <laughs> I don't even go so far, um, and I really think Trantrum uh, will do a lot of good work in UU, and it's touching, you know, that feel that it might be too powerful for RU. I'm, yeah, I really want to see this guy get moved up, and um, that is what is what I'm before spot. Number three, Quillfish. And yeah, this guy. I really want to see this guy move from RU to NU. It actually was NU for two days. Yeah. Um, we really need a Pokemon like this. This is an intimidating Pokemon. I love those kind of Pokemon. It's very, very, you know, wally, got a great speed, and uh, got the access to Toxic Spikes, usual spikes. And just overall, it covers a lot of grounds and it suits so many teams. It does well in RU, it really does, so it's not that. But it's more that the RU Pokemon right now in its tier, like Lawless, uh, Jellicent, even Seismito to some extent, 
um, does its job well a bit better or actually they're just walling better. Alma Mola is a better choice if you want to have defensive walls. So not even that suits Quillfish really well. So it has a low usage and I really hope it falls. Um, I like it. I think it's great. I think it's really fun to use. But it's tough to use in RU. In NU it might be too good. But uh, we still have really got the chance to, you know, find that out. Plus, you know, Quillfish just overall design makes me really want to use it in a lower tier. In an environment, I think it can thrive much better. So, um, yeah, that is really why it is on my number three spot. Now, moving on to number two. And this guy is no less than Mega Altaria. Now, Altaria for me is a Pokemon that, you know, I really like using it in NU. And once it got Mega Evolution, it just moved up so fast to OU. It really did. It was an Aria a few days. It was UU for a few days. This guy need to come back to UU. Um, it is good in OU, don't get me wrong here, but it's it's not doing that good that it should stay in it. I really, really want to see Altaria in UU. I think it does or has a lot of more options in that tier and just as a Pokemon standalone, it could thrive much better. Yes, it has a mix set which works really well and it's dangerous, I know that, but it's not that dangerous in OU. Uh, Excadrill can deal with it quite fine. Actually, your your common steel type can go up against this 1 1. And uh, even to some extent, most Mega Evolutions can kind of deal with it in higher tiers. Yes, Earthquake and uh, Fairy and uh, Dragon are great coverage, but they're not that great coverage. And um, at least not in the highest tier. You really have to work around your sets there. And it leaves this Pokemon quite limited. So I want to see Mega Altaria thrive. And I know the only way to do so is move it down a tier, and uh, yeah, I really want to see these guys in the lower tier, or at least in UU. I think can do some good work there, plus it really suits that Pokemon, and that is why it is my number 2 spot. And the number 1 spot is gonna go to the Hitmonchan! Now this is actually something I, I just I can't see why. This guy is right now still in RU. This guy should be in U. You know, if Pinsir can fall so fast, and even Mobile fall to NU, why hasn't this Pokemon done this? And you really need good rapid spinners, and Hitmonchan does a pitiful job in RU, and in a... Yeah, in a way, I think Hitmonchan can do well in NU. Uh, much like you laid, you know, get access to Drain Punch and stuff like that, but it isn't falling. It just, it isn't. This Pokemon, like I said, it's pitiful in RU. A lot of people actually don't use it because it just just doesn't cut it. And I myself is really feeling that Hitmonchan would do so many good things in, in U. And like I said, we need more rapid spinners and we need access to more rapid spinners, you say. So it was a very, very easy choice for me. And this is actually the reason I made this video in the first place. Because seeing Gallade in NU for a few days made me realize how has a Hitmonchan came down there. Uh, it just hasn't happened. And Hitmonchan, like I said, it's not doing well in its own tier right now. It's been there forever. Hitmonchan would do a lot of good work in NU. And I really hope to see this guy there soon. Because it might just find a usage again. It's it's definitely a forgotten game. And I really like it. I think it's a very, very cool Pokemon. But it's tough to use, it really is, and like I said, in its tier right now, it's impossible to use. Or, there are better options. So, uh, yeah, that's my list. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Very simple layout today, I know, I know. But uh, I just want to get this out of the way. Like I said, if you're on a different opinion or stuff that I'm missing out, make sure to write that. I will do, I will read them, and I will care for them. Because that's just what I do. So, yeah. With all this, my guys, I want to thank you for watching as always, of course. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video, if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, this guy is limit. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care. Bye.